Hey everybody, it's Michael Skeleton here. Today I'm going to be unboxing Dinogenix. It, this was a Kickstarter that I just received in the mail. It is a worker placement dinosaur park management game and it looks super cool. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Wanted to do an unboxing right away. It's a pretty big box. Uh, what does it say? One to five players, 14 and up, 90 minutes. There's the back of the box. So this was put out by Ninth Haven Games. And yeah, I just love the dinosaur meeples. We love worker placement games like Agricola, Caverna. This kind of seemed like it could be an Agricola with dinosaurs. So that's what's got me excited. And yeah, I'd say the box is probably Agricola, Glass Road sized, but deeper. Not as deep as Caverna, but maybe three quarters of that. Um, I did back the Kickstarter, just receiving it in the U.S. now. I also added on the uh, Corrupted T-Rex Meeples. So, yeah, we're gonna, let's just open these up first, shall we? So there's an example of the Corrupted T-Rex. Um, I believe they were tokens in the basic game, but they had a add-on for the meeples. I've got, it looks like I've got six of them here. There's only supposed to be five. A number of people got six. Oh well, bonus one. Uh, you only really need five to play one of the scenarios. So, all right, let's uh, open the rest of this up and check it out. So first thing I'm noticing is the cover is actually nice and glossy. I don't see that sort of gloss on mini game boxes. So that's nice. All right, here's the components. We got the manual first thing. Always love reading the manuals. Can't wait to play this this weekend. A nice full color glossy. Looks pretty good. Let's see how many pages total we got. So we got 27 pages all together, and the back is a quick reference. So always like to see that on the back of the rule book. All right, so here we have the visitor board. We've got the reputation tracks. And don't know if you can tell, but it is a double layered, dual layered. I don't know what they call that, where it's inset. So you could set the cubes inside here. Really excited about that. Uh, I believe it was just a stretch goal that was reached. And games with that, oh, they're just so much nicer. So this looks pretty awesome. Nothing on the back. Here we have the personal island boards. Again, um, it's got the dual layer. So you can set your buildings, plop them in there. We've got the dinosaur value. Oh, I think that's as you add dinosaurs, you keep track so you don't have to re-add and then here is where you're building your park and these are where the fences go and I know this caused the designer a bit of trouble or I guess it's the manufacturer a bit of trouble to get this exactly how he wanted um, can't remember what this track is up at the top but that's also inlaid and then it's got sort of a cheat sheet of all the dinosaurs right here so you can quickly see their stats and values so overall these look very nice super excited and let's see how many of these we get total should be five right yep so we got four more plus the one so that's five all together for a five player game here we've got the punch boards let's see how many we got they're already coming apart it looks like two punch boards here. All right, there's number one. There's the corrupted T-Rex tokens. Looks like we got buildings down there. Whoa, popping them out. So these are popping out pretty easy. There's the back side. All right, punch board number two. Oh my gosh, yeah, they punch out super easy. Very cool. All right, then we've got the game board. Let's lay this flat and take a look at it. All right, I've zoomed out as much as I can. Just barely fits the whole board. Sorry about the glare over here. Um, but it looks nice. It's nice and glossy. 
Uh, looks like we've got a victory point track along the edge. Got the newsroom down here, the DNA market. Got spaces for the DNA deck and the manipulation deck. And then the different sites. So it looks like we got city center, the farm, site B, the agency, boneyard, ferry, site A, timeshare, dinogenics, IOM, and outsource. So uh, it's a pretty good sized board. All right, and then we're back to the rest of the components in the box. We got a nice Dinogenix bag. I believe that was a stretch goal at some point. Holy smokes, we've got a lot of tokens. Lots of meeples, dinosaur meeples and fences. So, I guess the biggest bag in here are the fences. So let's take a look at those. So here we go. There's a nice close-up of the fences. Pretty thick, pretty chunky. I know they... Kind of went back and forth on these with the player mats. So I just kind of wanted to give an example how they're going to slot in on the player mat. Let's take a look at that. Whoop. Slot them in just like that. Looking pretty slick. I like it. We've got two little rampage dice here. Smiley face. Dinosaur skull, three slash, three slash, yeah, looks nice. All right, if you're like me, you're dying to see the dinosaur meeples, so let's get going with those. First thing I'm seeing that pops out are these guys, the Brontosaurus. Yeah, looks awesome, love it. Next up, we got the Raptors. Take a look at that guy. Woo! Yeah. Alright, next up, we've got the Mutants. I was like, what dinosaur is this? I had to go look it up in the rule book real quick. It's a mutant. There's a fair number of those. I've heard of people getting broken dinosaur maples, so I'm kind of trying to look as I unbag these, but these all look good. There we go. This one was always my brother's favorite. The Triceratops. It's a bit of a darker green than the Brontosaurus was. Now we'll go with my favorite as a kid. The Stegosaurus. That might be the same green as the Triceratops. Looks pretty close. If it's not, it's a little bit darker. All right, the flying dinosaur, the pterodactyl. It's a brown color. Small amount of those. Another green one. This green's definitely darker than either of the other two. This is the, what do they call them? Ankylosaurus, I think. Yeah, Ankylosaurus. And last but not least, everyone's favorite, the T-Rex. <laughs> Looks awesome. Looks like you get six T-Rexes all together. Sweet. Not sure how these bins are supposed to fit them. There's definitely not enough spots as there are dinosaurs. Oh, we missed this one. Oh, it's not a dinosaur. This is the goat. I think it just represents food in this game, if I remember right. I did read the rules and watch the preview videos back when I backed this, but that was like a year ago, so I don't exactly remember everything from this. Alright, then we got the visitor meeples. These ones are pretty standard red meeples. A bit smaller than I guess your standard. Um, smaller than like Carcassonne or whatever. For whatever reason there's another small bag of visitors so. And then it looks like we got all the player workers. So here's all five colors. You got blue, black, orange, yellow, and a gray. Those are all the player colors. I believe I remember the designer saying they did um, colorblind play tests. That's why they chose those colors, which I appreciate because I'm a bit colorblind. It's not horrible, but 
Appreciate that. All right, and then we got a bunch of counters. Uh, these ones are thicker than expected. So these are the scandal tokens. They're actually wooden red meeples. Um, but they're kind of stuck together in there, if you can see it. But they come off real easy. Doesn't look like there's any damage from that. And I'm not going to take these out of the bag. There's ten tracking tokens, two of each player color. Just uh, for your player board to track the, what was it, the dinosaur and probably victory points. Then we've got uh, faction tokens. These are also stuck together. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't seem to be damaging them in any way, I don't think. So here we've got one for each of the player colors. Don't remember if the factions are named or something. They must be. We got like fish, a raptor head, a book, a diamond, and a Z or an N. So, we got two of each of these. These are one of each color here. And I should say these are wooden just like those uh, scandal ones all right and that's for all the goodies and bits and we are left with cards it looks like these trays are oversized to fit sleeve cards don't remember if they specified that or not we got three packages we're gonna open them up and take a look at them and i just wanted to show this card does have a nice pull tab on it and i always appreciate and games do that. Oh, didn't quite work out, but pretty good nonetheless. So these, with these backs, are the manipulation cards. Um, as far as I can tell, just quickly scanning them, I believe these are just one-time use cards. Um, nice artwork, though. I do like that. Um, DNA Splice, Research Pact. Public relations campaign. Um, and as for the quality, they're not the thickest cards, but they're not bad. Um, there's a stack of them. Alright, the next pack is an interesting assortment. Usually they kind of group them all together. But you got some DNA cards and you got some breaking news cards. And then at the very bottom, we got. Dinosaur Trait Reference, and the Condensed Season Overview card. So I believe breaking these cards are basically like events. Um, I like the style of them. It's definitely, it is like breaking news, right? Uh, so what does this one say? Breaking news. Scientific leaders gather as abomination stalks the night. Oh, there's your corrupted T-Rex. I think the DNA cards are just giving you the, um, the dinosaurs. There's another reference card, so it does look like they give you probably one for each player. But yeah, I believe the DNA cards are just um, how you make dinosaurs. I'm not sure if there was something else you could do with it, too. This looks good. That was the second pack. Last pack looks like all dinosaur cards. So nothing but dinosaurs. So there you got the Ankylosaurus DNA. So you got like the DNA requirements, the market value to buy it, to sell it, the trait, defensive can share habitat with any species. These are the stats, I don't remember what those mean. And then what it can eat, it's an herbivore. But just look at that, that art, I, I love it, looks fun. Makes me just want to play it right now. Raptor. Stegosaurus, Pterodactyl, what am I missing, Obrontosaurus, Stegosaurus, yeah, I think that was all of them, cool, so that's all the cards, that's everything in the box, let's get it all back inside. guys so that's everything in the box for dinogenics if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos if you want to check out more of my videos just click the links on the screen and maybe you'll find a new game to play all right guys with that michael skeleton is out